Hello everyone, welcome back to Japan Private Tour YouTube channel. I'm Mia and I'm with Jack today. And today we are now in Kyoto. So yes, right behind us we have Fushimiyanari. But we're going to take you to a few spots around Kyoto that many don't know about. Okay, so let's go. Fushimi Inari is one of the most popular tourist locations within all of Kyoto. Due to its popularity, people gather here regularly to take pictures, which unfortunately makes that desired shot more difficult to capture. But past the Tori Gates, there is lush nature in abundance that makes a perfect background for great photos. Take this small corridor of bamboo for example, that replicates the bamboo grove of Arashiyama without the crowds. Not far from the famous Kiyomizudera temple, there is a small temple called Yasukako Shindo. Upon entering this temple, you are immediately confronted by colourful bulls called Kukurizaru hanging on the walls. The idea behind the Kukurizaru is to write down a desire which will very kindly be abolished while your wishes are granted. It also provides the background for some perfect snaps. Nanzenji Temple is one of the most important Zen Buddhist temples in all of Japan. Within its grounds are multiple sub-temples, creating a vast web of buildings. One structure in the area stands out from the others due to its Roman-like architectural design resembling an aqueduct. The purpose of this landmark was to bring water from Lake Biwa to the temple. It has now become a unique setting for photos in Kyoto.
if you're looking for a rather mystical setting for your Instagram, head north to Kifane Shrine. The shrine is located in the quaint village of Kibune in Mount Kurama of Kyoto. The red Kasuga lanterns that line the stone steps leading to the shrine give off a particularly fantastical feel to your photos. Our final recommendation would be your accommodation in Kyoto. Kyoto is filled with wonderful accommodation that are not only beautiful, but also embody the aesthetics of Kyoto and its atmosphere. From a traditional machia to modern hotels with stunning views, you will have no trouble finding the perfect spot for a photo. Unfortunately, that's all we've got time for today. Mia, which was your favorite? For me, my favorite would be Kivone Shrine. Yep. I like the part where they put their red lanterns in both of the stone steps. Yep. I think it's very cool. Yeah. Yeah, what about you? I think it's got to be the hotels for me. Um, mm -hmm. Like the hotels in Kyoto, there's so many of them. They're all so different. Yeah. But they all kind of use elements of Japan, uh, which yeah. provide for a great background for photos. Yeah. And even to stay in there, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's all from us. And don't forget to press like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.